Welcome to Snap-on Training Solutions. This module is designed to help you get the most out of your Modus Edge diagnostic tool and covers the vehicle identification process and code operations. The first step in diagnosing any vehicle is to select the vehicle ID. Your starting point to ID a vehicle is via the scanner icon on the home page. The vehicle ID must be entered into the scan tool so test data displays correctly and to ensure communication with the vehicle's electronic control module, or ECM. Follow the screen prompts. Each selection advances you to the next screen. The exact sequence varies by the vehicle make, model, and year. Select the vehicle make from the menu. If necessary, use the scroll bar on the right to page down for more choices. In this case, we'll select Chevrolet. Select the model year. Select the model and configuration. Some models have more than one configuration. For example, Avalanche four-wheel drive and Avalanche rear-wheel drive. Select engine size. You can select the engine displacement or use the vehicle identification number from the vehicle. The VIN position for engine is shown at the top of the screen, and the choices are listed on the menu alongside the selections. If the vehicle ID is correct, select OK or cancel to re-enter any information. Some vehicles send vehicle ID data through the OBD2 connector and can ID automatically. Let's save time and simplify the ID process by letting a 2009 BMW ID itself. Select BMW from the Vehicle Selection page and select U.S. Vehicles from the Vehicle Selection page. Select the year 2009. Select Automatic ID and the tool displays the configuration and engine and completes the ID process. Instant Vehicle Identification is a built-in scanner feature that will save you time when identifying a vehicle by automatically communicating with the vehicle to complete the vehicle identification process. Note that Instant ID is available on many 2008 and newer vehicles by querying OBD2 Mode 9 for the vehicle identification number. Before connecting the data cable to the vehicle's OBD2 data link connector, switch ignition to key on engine off. Now connect the lighted data cable to the OBD2 connector. The Modus Edge will automatically power up if not turned on already. Wait for the beep. Select Scanner. Depending on the vehicle, Instant ID may occur automatically and only ask you to confirm the vehicle or additional screen prompts may be displayed to enter vehicle information. To complete the Instant ID process and continue, select OK from the Vehicle Confirmation screen. After completing the vehicle ID, select the desired system to diagnose. Don't forget to scroll down for more that may not be displayed on the first screen. Use the scroll bar at the right. Let's diagnose the engine system. Navigation for all other systems is similar. When the check engine light is illuminated, the first thing we should do is check for codes. This will be the starting point on our diagnostic roadmap. Select the Codes menu to access diagnostic trouble codes from the Vehicle Control Module. Our first step is to display codes. This opens a list of diagnostic trouble code types or DTCs stored in the ECM. Select All Powertrain Codes, and a list of DTCs appears along with the code description. And there you have it. Don't forget to scroll to see more codes. The Clear Codes function erases the DTCs stored in the selected ECU. Follow the on-screen instructions. The tool prompts, are you sure? Select yes to clear the codes. Here we can see the codes cleared successfully. 
If not, simply follow the on-screen instructions. Codes may be cleared in individual modules or by using the Clear All Codes Read by Code Scan function, which we will cover in a minute. FreezeFrame displays the data and current conditions when the ECM commanded the malfunction indicator lamp to turn on. Here's the list of available FreezeFrame data. Select a code to view the data. This can be helpful to determine the conditions when the code's set. Hot, cold, fast, slow, great clues can be found here. Selecting Code Scan starts an active scan of vehicle control modules and opens the Code Scan Results screen. Depending on the vehicle, the Code Scan option may be available from the menu. A green progress bar is shown at the top indicating the active scanning progress. Once completed, the results are displayed by system category. The following results are displayed progressively as the modules are scanned. A list of all the systems analyzed with DTC totals. A categorized system list with DTC totals is displayed in the order they are scanned. Select the Expand Collapse icon on the left side of a system category title to expand or collapse a system's DTC list. To view the main menu for a system in the list, select the system, then select the system icon. Scroll down the code scan list. Global OBD2 diagnostic trouble codes are displayed. At the end of the code scan list, readiness monitor test results are displayed as tests complete or not complete. Selecting the Save icon from the Code Scan toolbar saves the Code Scan results as an XML file. The XML file can be reviewed by selecting Previous Vehicles in Data, View Save Data, and then selecting the XML file from your saved file list. When opened, the file displays basic vehicle information a list of diagnostic trouble codes with a brief description, global OBD2 codes, and readiness monitor status. Saved DTC XML files can also be transferred to a personal computer using ShopStream Connect. Once the diagnostic tool is connected to the PC, XML files can be viewed, printed, transferred, and copied. ShopStream Connect is a companion program that is available online at no charge. XML files transferred with ShopStream Connect are text files containing vehicle information and the diagnostic trouble code list. Please visit the website and download the free application. Selecting Clear All Codes Read by Code Scan erases all DTCs from all vehicle system modules that were read by CodeScan. You may not want to clear codes in every module until your diagnosis is complete. Snap-on is dedicated to helping you get the most out of your diagnostic tool and keep your customers happy. Be sure to watch the rest of the modules in this training solutions series.